This video gives an introduction to systems of linear equations. The equation 4x minus 5y plus 7.3z equals 27 is an example of a linear equation. And in general, a linear equation is an equation that can be written as the sum of a bunch of numbers called the coefficients times variables all added up to equal another number. So in this example above, the numbers 4, negative 5, and 7.3 are the coefficients. The letters x, y, and z are the variables, and the products of coefficients times the variables get added up to equal another number. So which of these three examples qualify as linear equations? The first one does not because the 4 is multiplied by x squared, the square of a variable, not just a single variable. The second equation is also not a linear equation because the one-third is multiplied by a product of variables, not just a single variable. The third equation does qualify as a linear equation because if I rewrite it as 5a minus 6b plus the square root of 2c equals negative 2, then it is a sum of coefficients times variables all added up to equal a number. A system of linear equations is just a set or collection of linear equations involving the same variables. Here's an example. This example involves four equations and three variables, r, s, and t. Notice that not every equation has to contain all the variables. A solution to a system of linear equations is a set of values for the variables so that each equation in the system is satisfied. For example, x equals 2, y equals 2, z equals 0 is a solution to this system of equations because if you plug in 2 for x and 2 for y and 0 for z, this satisfies the first equation, the second equation, and the third equation. On the other hand, x equals 1, y equals 3, and z equals 3 halves is not a solution. You can check that these values satisfy the first equation and the second equation, but not the third one. This concludes the brief introduction to systems of linear equations.